Hi, my name is Richard Davidson. I'm the Vice President and Acting uh, Engineering Manager for the Subsea Company. And today we're going to discuss our BOP fluid conditioning system, which is behind me. The purpose of this unit is to control biological growth in a BOP fluid system and also to remove some of the contaminants and forms of particles in the BOP fluid. So this system here is designed to do two things. One, it will control biological growth and attempt to reduce it on a continuous basis. And the second part of it is the computerized monitoring system. So traditionally, water samples are taken out of the BOP fluid tank either once a day or once a week. They may be tested on the rig or you may have to send them all the way to shore in order to find out what's in your BOP fluid. It is a known fact that biological contamination will result in undesirable downtime events. So this system was designed to help prevent that problem. Inside of this unit, we have a 50 to 5 micron pre-filter. We come out of there and we go into an ultraviolet lamp array here. This ultraviolet lamp array is what either kills or pre prevents the biological contaminants from reproducing. On the outside or downstream side of that, we have a 20 to 1 micron filter to remove most of the dead bugs that we've killed with the ultraviolet lamp. The water then exits out of the system and we have a shutoff valve on our exit. So on each of our filter units, we have indicators showing how much restriction or how dirty the filter is. This is the control system here. Inside of here, this unit's set up and you have two main instruments. One is the power supply for the UV lamp and it automatically gives you a reading up here at the top that tells you how much light you can expect out of this UV lamp. The second thing we have in here is a timer set up for the pump. Now this section over here is going to be our warning and our monitoring for our sensors. So this unit here is actually a computer. It records all the data. It records readings every 30 seconds. It'll hold 30 days worth of data. It will give you trend lines. You can export all the data to an Excel spreadsheet with a flash drive. And you can also set alarms. So on the front here, we have a pH high, pH low, which would indicate potential changes in biological activity. We have alarms for high and low conductivity. The unit will also drive external alarms as dry contacts, so you can wire this system up and run a cable back to a remote alarm panel to make it fully unattended. Down here we have our operational controls. It shows that power is on, tells you if the pump's running, if it's running on the timer system. And you also have an indication for an overpressure system, so that this tells you that something's wrong it's not pumping effectively. This is our start and stop switch. So even if the unit's on the manual timer, you can stop the system and override the timer. These units are designed to run off of 50 or 60 hertz, 220 volt power supplies. They can be supplied in a 110 volt standard, but the normal unit is for 220 single phase. But for probably 95% of the rigs in the ocean today, this system will provide a significant improvement in BOP fluid cleanliness. If you have any questions about the unit, give us a call. Thanks for your time.